This example is going to be an extended distance um, SAD treatment. And I'm only going to do one field here because you, typically these treatments are done for extremities. Um, you know, either like a whole femur treatment, you know, or a whole leg treatment with matching fields. Uh, basically, it's an APPA field arrangement. Um, and the reason that we use the extended distance is because the, the fields are only able to do, you know, roughly a 40 centimeter field size. And if we need something larger than 40 centimeters, then we have to, we have to take advantage of the magnification of the field um, by extending the SSD. So you just extrapolate this to multiple fields, but the concepts remain the same. So my original SSD was 90 centimeters. So the original um, treatment was set up so that my calc point is at midline, midplane on the central axis here. Um, and then I'm at uh, 90 centimeter SSD. Let's say for some reason uh, I can't fit the geometry of the tumor or if it's like a you know, some sort of a long leg bone that I can't fit inside of the treatment field, I have to do an extended distance. So let's take 110 centimeter SSD. So effectively I've lowered the couch 20 centimeters. And I'm going to recalculate the dose on the treatment planning system. And let's go through the dose calculation for this. So I have 358 monitor units. 10 by 10 field size. Okay. I'm delivering 200 centigrade to the calculation point. My attenuation is, is 10 centimeters. So I have 10 centimeter depth as my calc point. Okay, so my, attenu my attenuation from the tissues is only 10 centimeters, but my calc point now is an extended distance away from isocenter and the calibration point for the machine. So let me bring up my MU equation. If we remember, MU is going to be dose divided by S sub C, the phantom scatter factor, my depth component, tissue maximum ratio. Uh, I don't have a wedge, um, and I'm not off axis, and I don't have a tray. So the only thing I have here is my inverse square factor. And if we remember, my inverse square factor is uh, source to cal distance divided by uh, source to point call this source to calc point distance squared. Okay. All right, let's calculate the monitor units. So the monitor units are 200 centigrade, S sub C and S sub P. So my field size at depth is not 10, it's been magnified, right? So I am 20 centimeters from the source to axis distance. So my original field size was a 10 centimeter field size times 1.2, right? Because I'm at 20 centimeters past 100. Or you can do another ratio and say 10 centimeters um, is, the field size is 10 centimeters at 100 uh, centimeter source to axis, what is the field size at 120? And then you can do a simple ratio and come up with 12 centimeters. Okay, so if I pull down my data table for 6x and I look at 12 centimeters, collimator scatter factor is 1.01, .01, phantom scatter factor is 1.006. My tissue maximum ratio at 10 centimeters deep. I look at TMR, 6x, 10 centimeter column here, 10 centimeter equivalent square, sorry, 12 centimeter equivalent square, and I go down to 10 centimeters is 0.783. Now my inverse square factor is source to cal distance. Uh, 101.5 divided by my source to point distance. Okay. Well, my source to point distance is 120 centimeters. So I'm at 
110 centimeters SSD, and then I have an additional 10 centimeters of thickness until I get to my calc point. So my source to point distance is 120, and this is squared. So if I come in here and I say 200 divided by 1.01, .01, divided by 1.006, divided by 0 0.783, okay, divided by 101.5, divided by 120, in parentheses, square, 351, 351 menu. Let's move this out of the way this out of the way. Extended distance SSD. I'm sorry, extended distance SAD.